G'day guys, what's cracking? To Aussie here again. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. It's cold, and for some of you people in America, I'm sure you've heard of this before, but for you Aussies as well and other people, this is AW Root Beer. Uh, to me, I've tried one of these in another video I did before, but it was towards the end, so not many people would have seen it. It's um, I'm going to make an AW Root Beer float. So big glass there to make it in we've got some ice cream just two ingredients ice cream and root beer A&W root beer I'm sure you can do it with any sort of root beer but this one I found it in a shop where they had all these American drinks that we don't usually get here so I thought oh and then the thing was I actually had tried this in another video and someone made a comment saying you should try an A uh, well not just an A&W but a root beer float so I looked it up and saw what it's all about and guys this is it so what I want to do here though is take all this out and I thought I'd sit outside today because it's even though it's winter it's a beautiful day today it's getting a bit windy now but apart from that it's quite nice it doesn't even feel like winter it feels like autumn so guys I got this ice cream it's um to put that somewhere where it won't I'll just leave that for now so I got this what's it called blue ribbon ice cream streets quite a nice ice cream here in Australia a lot of people seem to go for that it's not too expensive but not a cheap one so we'll um, use that for today but what I want to do is I'll scoop it all in get it ready then I want to put the camera up close so we can see the actual root uh, not the root beer the ice cream when I put the root beer in we'll watch it float up so I'll put a whoop, that wasn't a good start. It's probably gonna be a bit, bit a bit messy, but that doesn't matter. Put that in there. And guys, I um, found this this glass, I got three of them. I was planning on doing it with the boys, but of course everything I plan on doing with the boys doesn't work out. Well not everything, but most things. So there goes my straw. Got it. Put that there. It's a little bit windy, starting to pick up, so I'll just eat that little bit. Actually, what I might do is leave that over there. Put that on top. So I'll stop the camera now and I'll move it in and we'll put the root beer in and we'll see how it goes. And while I'm doing this, for anyone who doesn't know about A and W. Probably not too easy to get here in Australia. There's, there are places, but I haven't seen it in the supermarkets. We just happened to find it in a, well Liz and I were doing a video of a, a place that makes American style stuff. It's been around since, what did it say on the tin? 1919, so it's been around for a long time. So let's pour it in and see what happens. Look at that. Get a nice head on it. Hopefully it won't go over the top. Let's go back a little bit so you can see that. Look at that guys, it looks beautiful. Now, I'll show you this part here, you can see it's frothing up. See it there? Now I actually, like I said, I've tried one of these before. I bought a few tin, uh, few cans of this drink. And at the end of one of my live, uh, lives, I tried it one night, but not many people would have seen it. So guys, that's it there root beer float and just to top it off see if I can do this make a ball with the scooper and we'll put a little ball on the side I don't know if that's gonna work but let's find out there you go a little ball on the side <laughs> I'm not too fancy could have done a bit better than that but anyway guys I've tried this before and I gotta tell you it's really nice and if I can find any other drinks like this I just might do it look at that beautiful it's a great little dessert type thing if you had a nice meal and then you want something like this this straw could be a lot longer but if I have if I can't get to the end of it I'll use this <laughs> so anyway I'll just put the camera back a little bit and then we'll have another look at it doesn't that look delicious guys now I'm gonna try it out like I said I have tried it before and it's really nice actually I might eat that ice cream bit off the top 
Even that taste on the straw is really nice. I like it. So like I said, if you can find, even if you found other root beer, I'm sure you could do it with a different root beer. It's just root beer. I've got to say though, when I was a kid, I used to drink a little bit of sarsaparilla. And to me, that tastes a lot like it. That's beautiful. Really different taste. So guys, if you get a chance, get yourself some A&W root beer or root beer. And give this one a go. It's really nice. Not really a very clever idea to try and suck all that ice cream at once. It's not going through the straw. <laughs> and just, that's a middle of the road sort of ice cream. Nice and creamy. It's nice flavour. It's not too expensive. So try it with something like that. You don't have to buy anything too exotic or too expensive. Just, I'm not too cheap either because you want it to taste good. But... It's a little ripper. So guys, if you get a chance, get yourself, or make yourself, a root beer float. And if you can get A&W, that's even better. But if not, give it a go anyway. So guys, thanks for watching the video. That's my little A&W root beer float. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you get to try it. And remember, you can never be too Aussie. Hooroo!